Hello there, welcome to Nate's Take. Today I've got a good friend of mine, Chris Krohn, with me. He's a transformational breakthrough mentor, and we're gonna talk about the, the subject that's real important to me about how to have a positive mindset. All right, Chris, so the first question I have for you is what it's like living in a world without limits. Well, I can't honestly say that I live in a world without limits, but this is something that I've really dedicated my life to. And the idea is, how do I align my thinking in a manner to become as limitless as possible? Because I, I believe that we are not here by accident, and we're certainly not here to absorb and have a, a birthright of poverty, uh, to live in mental poverty. And uh, instead, we've got a world of opportunity around us, and ultimately, our perception is what drives opportunity. So if our perception is filled with negativity and limits, then all we're going to be able to perceive is negativity and limits. And so I've dedicated myself and the people I get to spend time with to looking at life in a different manner that really opens the door to possibility. And uh, it really is a discipline because it's a very different approach to how most people do life. So do you feel that you, you see the world differently than most people? Nate, I breathe completely different oxygen than almost anyone that I have a chance to meet and rub shoulders with. I mean, you got crabs in the bucket, you've got people that are living inside their limits. I mean, most of us, just even from our childhood, we had a lot of ideas and beliefs that were suggested to us where our young infantile minds can do nothing but interpret limits. I'm not good enough, I'm not fast enough, I'm not strong enough, I'm too young, I'm too old, I'll never make it, I'm not worthy, I'm not good enough, I'm too fat. And these ideas run our life. And I call them limiting beliefs. And uh, what I do is I love becoming aware to them because I have the power to change them. If I chose into them as a young child, what would happen if I could reevaluate all the poor past choices of the past and change them? When you do that, yeah, the oxygen changes. Your results change. The money can change. The level of depth and connection and relationships can change. Your physical output, everything can change based on our belief system. So now let's talk about just something real specific because of the length we have in this video. How, how do you start your day to make sure that we have that positive mindset throughout the, day, the rest of the day? Uh, for me, I do something, I have a ritual every morning called a power hour. And it's maybe more like a power three hours. <laughs> but um, I'm, I, I'm an early to rise kind of guy. And I'll go to the gym in the morning. And uh, one of the things that I do is I keep this wristband on me. It says, I am limitless. It's a reminder. And every day this wristband, it says the same thing on the reverse side, but it starts black. And I look down and it's just my ritualistic reminder that I get to have a breakthrough. I just get to ground and ask, what's limiting me? What belief isn't working for me? And if I'm quiet, the belief shows up, and it could be on anything in my life. And then I evaluate it, I ask myself if it serves me, and if it doesn't, I create something new. And I love creating a new belief every morning as a part of my workout routine, a part of taking time to connect with my wife, so that by the time my wife and I are ready to get up and get our four kids off to school, we're coming at life from a place of power. I've invigorated my body, my mind, my spirit, my soul. It's been filled with meditation and prayer, and I'm conscious and I'm ready for this day. That's awesome. So what about the conclusion of the day? Do you do anything in a similar manner when you're about to, to close your eyes? You know, one of the things really that's important for me, Nate, is to maintain throughout the day the space of consciousness. The space where I never step into victimhood, I don't operate from limits, and so I don't care what time of day is, even the end of the day, if I happenstance on a negative energy and negative emotion, that's my clue that something is off in my mindset. I'm just going to pause, ground, and I'm just going to ask, what's the limiting belief getting in my way? And whatever time of day it is, I'm going to do the work to create a new belief. I've been doing this for years now. I've had a chance to go through thousands of, of little tiny aspects of my belief system, and it's been a cleansing and a purifying process to intentionally create a perception that can only see the world I want to manifest. All right, but what happens, you started your day right, but then life happens midday, something negative happens, how do you handle that? Well, I handle it actually the exact same way. The first thing to recognize, Nate, is that the way that we do life, I am not necessarily my body, I'm not necessarily my mind, and I'm sure as heck not my limiting beliefs. So the moment something doesn't go right, that's a perception problem. 
And so if your perception has the ability to perceive problems, then you will have problems. The idea is to create perception without problems and you're really asking, what's the journey? How do I get there? That happens by taking one perceived problem at a time. For example, I, I have an interaction with a work colleague and uh, they say something to me that triggers me. And I'm going to use this word trigger because I'm with my wife. She says something I don't like. It triggers with me. I'm with my kids. I show up in a way and respond in a way I don't like. I'm triggered. The question is, what do you do when you get triggered? And that's where I will, I will pause and I actually like to become the observer of my life. Instead of becoming my anger or my frustration or my sadness or my depression, I want to pause and say, I am not my anger, sadness, or depression, but it is something I'm feeling. And so I just create a real present moment to step outside of the judgment and observe what is it that's really occurring in my life right now? And do I like being this way? And why did it happen? Oh, I'm triggered because I have an idea that so-and-so shouldn't speak to me that way. I'm triggered because my kid did something I didn't like. Okay, I now have results of that idea. Is it serving me? What's the cost? Oh, I'm angry. Oh, I disconnect. Oh, um, I, I want to unplug and go unconscious. Oh, I want to go to the ice cream tub. And so when I get triggered, I like to pause and, and say, instead of being the trigger, instead of being the negative emotion, it's simply something I'm experiencing. And I want, I want to just pause and step out and just ask why. If I can get to the root every time, Nate, of what that is, then I can formulate a higher level belief in my mind and I can harden that into something brand new. Because if you understand the science of the mind, we have the ability to continue the process of neurogenesis or the development of our mind. And all I'm doing is making my, using my choice and agency to create a new path in my life. Oh, instead of saying, when my child does X, I respond in anger, I just pause and say, my new belief might be, my children have permission to show up whichever way they choose, and I get to show up in patience, love, and kindness. That's the first time I've had that thought. If I will persist with that thought, I will develop this new neural pathway in my mind and in time, it will be more conscious and it will outweigh the frustration and anger that I used to go to and I change. I become a new creature. I become a better version of myself, but I did it by choice. So choice is what frees us from these triggers. So I appreciate you sharing that. Um, you have an event, uh, Limitless. I've been to it. Could you tell us a little bit about what Limitless is and how people can find out about it? You know, Nate, I had a mentor years ago and uh, I was paying him hundreds of thousands of dollars. And one time I was sitting down with him, he had flown in town to meet with me, and he said, Chris, you're not being teachable right now. And then I rose up in my unteachability and I said, what do you mean? He says, you're not really hearing me. You're listening, but you're not hearing. And then he said this to me, I'll never forget it. He said, Chris, the most dangerous information is what you don't know. This work that I do is all about exposing people to how to figure out what they don't know. So we've put on this three-day event. It's called Limitless, and it is a breakthrough event. And we are intentionally gonna put you in awkward and uncomfortable circumstances to really see if we can trigger the limiting beliefs that aren't working in your life, and then we process them. We help you come to the choice where you get to see the cost and the results and the fruits of what it's producing in your life so that you can make the choice if you choose to step out of it. It's a life-changing event, as you know. You know, um, we, we, we get to do some really amazing, fun, and crazy stuff. And people, that's a miracle event. People step out of that never, never the same person. And so I put that out, uh, event on most months, and we gather an amazing group of people from all over the country. We stream it to a number of others. And it's all dedicated to really helping people witness the greatness that is within them, see what's not working, and how to get out of it because a mentor has the ability to see your blind spots and obstacles and this event is designed to help you actually see what you can't so that you can start working on what is necessary to produce the life the results the personal peace and happiness and fulfillment that we all want thanks so much chris uh, this is totally valuable information for me and really helping me have that positive mindset and and i've attended the limitless event and definitely it's, it's not just, I love motivational events, but this has been more of an, an experiential learning, real, real breakthroughs and real transformation. So I'm going to put all the information below in the description about that Limitless event uh, so that uh, anyone that that resonates with, we'd love to see you there as well.